All right, so today we're gonna be filming a flow. This is gonna be 10 moves done in 10 minutes. I'm gonna spend the next one minute explaining what we're doing, how we're doing it, and then right after that, I'm gonna be paying attention to the timer, making sure we get everything done on time. So in this sequence, all you're gonna need is a mat and some space. Every 60 seconds, we're gonna be changing what we're doing. This is specifically designed to break up all of the tissue and loosen things up, get new blood flow. This is a very gentle sequence. It will raise your heart rate up for sure. And this is to really help restore all of the hard work that we've been doing on our lifting and more athletic body weight movement days. This is a wonderful flow. It's going to take 10 minutes. Here are your options. You could run through this one to three times or follow the cardio non-impact walking that is in your program. So let's get set up. We're gonna start with down dog and some pedaling. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hinge up the hips. We're gonna walk out. Okay, my legs are gonna be straight. And all I'm gonna start to do is bend my feet and pedal. Okay, so I'm gently gonna move back and forth with my feet. I'm gonna work on really trying to lock in my shoulder blades, taking some exhales, opening up the fingertips, try and actually start now reaching my hips up to the ceiling. Okay, so we're just going to gently move and keeping an eye on the timer. Okay, what I want you to start doing now is actually plant your heels and start to wiggle your butt side to side. Get in those corner pockets. I personally feel this in my calf. Okay, and I'm really starting to move around my body as best as I can. Okay, now the last thing we're going to do is just gently start doing some circles. I'm going to circle my hips a little bit to the left, now clockwise to the right, and we're going to go right into our next move, which is a groiner. Okay, I'm going to narrow my hands, step my foot to my hand. Okay, so from here, what we're going to work on is just simple rotations. I'm going to rotate all the way up. I'm going to rotate down. I'm going to lock in. Right now, put all your weight in your right foot and your right hand. And I'm going to lock in this way. Rotate, exhale. <sighs> Trying to get long on that back foot. Lengthen out that back leg right now. Lengthen it. Find some space. Try to root in your heel. Take this left hand back down. Open up and rotate. Think about spinning through the ribs here. Spin through the ribs. Look up. Come right back down. Plant. Rotate again. I'm going to spin through my ribs. End up with my hands. Exhale. Left hand down. Right hand up, really rotating, extending. I can start feeling this in my right glute. We're going to do one more. We're going to plant, rotate, plant, rotate. Get your right foot back to your right hand. We're going to switch sides. Step left foot to left hand. I'm going to open up. And I'm going to continue to move back and forth. Again, don't forget about that back leg. Make sure it's almost connected. If it can't connect to the floor, don't worry about it. What I want you to think about doing right now is gaining ownership of your T-spine, the upper body, rotating through that spine, getting some space. Make sure your hand, your right hand is slightly pointing away. This is a shitty shoulder placement with my elbow pit inwards. My elbow pit wants to be almost at a 45 degree angle. Okay, planting down again, good strong base of my foot, my arch is rooted, my toes are down pressing through the floor, and I'm really trying to move back and forth here. <sighs> Moving with my breath. This is actually our third exercise already. We're on three, we're gonna move on to four in a second. So four, I'm gonna put my knees down, we've got cat camel from the side, I'm gonna look up, exhale, press my hips into my nose and push through my hands. Think about pushing your hands actually apart to separate your shoulder blades. Inhale, look up, extend through that neck gently, look through the top of your eyelids. Exhale, press the hips hard. Squeeze your glutes into your nose. Keep pushing the, pushing the hips, pushing the hands as hard as you can. Look all the way up. Inhale, exhale. Again, this is exercise five. Okay, again, inhale, bend that, so look at my tailbone, I'm going to come all the way down, look all the way up, sink that belly softly to the floor, inhale, exhale, push this hip, squeeze that butt forward into the nose, okay, and then release, that's exercise five, exercise six, 
Okay, what we're gonna start to do now is get a little, we're gonna rock back onto our heels. So look at my heels. I'm gonna start moving and see if I can get into that deep squat. And then down, look, if you can't do that, hold on to something. Here, I'm holding on to a ledge right here. This is how you can do this if you can't do it already. I can just hold on to this shit. Look, here, here, okay? Make it as wide as you need to. I wanna gain that flexibility in that ankle. Okay, here's what it looks like without. Just pushing off the floor. And try to get as upright as you can. Look up with that chest. You can do this in a doorway, okay? Look up. Okay, just go to wherever you feel safe. Hold on to something. Sit the hips back. I wanna gain ownership. Get that hip low and that ankle low, okay? Good, exercise six. We're gonna start moving into the upper body now, okay? So what I'm gonna to start to do now is we're gonna to start to get the upper body involved. I'm gonna tuck the hips under from the side. Okay, I'm gonna take my hands. Now watch what I'm gonna do. Okay, I'm gonna go like this. So I want you to take your hands. As you move towards, I want you to look up. Now watch what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna go in and then away and all the way back up. Look, pull back down to a prayer position. So spread, follow those pinkies. Okay, spin them out. All, reach, reach, reach towards the edges of the room and back down, here. So this is rep three, here. Okay, so here then you're gonna spin so you can touch the index finger, spin out. So my hands, then I'm gonna spin all the way up. <sighs> Inhale, look up, extend, exhale. Okay, now we're gonna hit the lateral flexors of the body. I'm gonna change this real quick. Stay with me, stay with me, okay? So I'm gonna pistol grip. I'm going to move at the, at the oblique, the side of the body. I'm gonna turn all the way over, stretch out as far as I can without doing this, guys. No bending here. Watch as I bend. When I bend to the side, my back is still upright. I'm trying to peel away my rib from my hip. Come up to the other side. Okay, I'm gonna get back with you guys here. Make sure the neck comes with too. I want you to drape that ear. Drape that ear over to the hip. Come up. Over. Separate your left rib and your right left hip. Sorry, right here, it's right rib, right hip. Left hip, left rib, other side, last rep, good. Okay, so we have two more, we're gonna get into the neck now. I want you to take your hands, open them up, and squeeze. Make your shoulders, make everything tense. Now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna look over my left shoulder. So that means I'm gonna grab the right tissue of my neck, hold on to that tissue, and I'm gonna then look all the way up till you lose the tissue. Now you're gonna grab the left tissue on the left side and you're gonna look behind you. So left tissue is holding on, punch to the floor, punch to the floor. Okay, now I'm gonna look up. When I look up, look as back as you can. Now grab the right tissue by turning your neck, look down. Okay, then I'm gonna go all the way back up again, lose the tissue in the middle, grab the left tissue by turning your head over and look behind you, see if you can find your feet. Now we're gonna go all the way up and across again. Excellent, so that's the neck. Last, we have the little digits. Can't forget about these guys. So I'm gonna put my hands down like this. Okay, and I'm gonna rock back for 10 reps. One, two, three. You're gonna feel a big stretch in the forearm, okay? Six, seven, eight, Nine, 10, awesome. Now we're gonna go forward, we're gonna lean, we're gonna hover the chin over the fingertips. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Now we're gonna do huge ass circles for 10. Nine, 
eight, we're gonna switch at five, seven, six, five, we're gonna go in the opposite direction. Five, four, three, two, and one. Wonderful, now the last thing we're gonna do, I know I said 10, but I lied, we're gonna do a little digit work. So I'm gonna take my right finger and I'm gonna move it five times to the right, five times to the left. Now extend your hands. Other side, so look guys, we're typing on the computers a lot. Okay, we have to make sure that we keep the digits involved. I want you to try to just do that with your hands and limit the forearm movement. Try to think, don't move your forearm. Oh, look at my little pinky. My little pinky work. I want to do some work there. Five and the other. My little pinky doesn't work so well. And the big circles on the, the thumbs. Five in the other direction. I cut this thumb off actually when I was 23, so it's always been kind of weird. This is stuff I learned that really helped me keep my uh, surgeons that I'd lose 80% dexterity, and my thumb only lost like 20 because I kept up with these drills. So I want to do five to the right five to the left on every digit. You can start to see some of them don't work so well. We want to make sure that we start keeping this stuff, these little things that we don't really think about so much. We want to keep all that going. Last one, if you have to hold it down. Oh, my dog's so interested. I could give eight shits about this finger work. All right, so guys, so that's 10 drills, almost 11 in 10 minutes. We crushed through it. If you want, if you feel like you want to do this again, Please do this two to almost three times if you want. Right now, what you're going to do, whatever's in your program, you've got something underneath this. You're either going to walk, you've got some um, specific cardio you're doing, but we want to make sure that we do this either one, two, or three times, and then whatever's programmed next. All right, guys, have a beautiful day. I hope you feel nice and unwind and loose, and everything's moving much better than it was when you started.